Hello again, uh, my chess friends. Um, uh, this is a game, Me Bags. It's an online game versus Cyber. He's black and I'm white. It was a really fun game. I destroyed him. It was fun because I was able to do some sacrifices, got some pins. You're going to really enjoy it. Uh, wait and see. It's going to be fun. <coughs> okay. E4. That's what I played. He played C5. Uh, then I played knight f3. I'm going to take in attacking the e5. Also getting ready to bring my other knight out if I need to. Bring my bishop. There's a whole bunch of things. He plays knight c6. <coughs> Excuse me. Knight c6 is he wants to take control and he, he wants to go maybe d6, e5, you know, something like that. Maybe Fianchetto is bishop. Maybe bring his knight, you know, something out. But, um,. He should have probably played, in this situation, they usually play d6 sometimes. So it allows, then they can play knight to c6. But that does allow me to play, like, knight c, uh, c3. So it all depends upon uh, the favor of what the, uh, the taste of what the player wants to do. Okay, so I, I go bishop to c3, c4. I'm, I'm waiting to see what he's going to do. Because <clears throat> if he plays incorrectly... I can go for a humongous attack, and he does play incorrectly. So he plays knight. He plays c uh, h6. The reason h6 is a mistake is he didn't bring out his light squared bishop. What's the point of playing h6 if you're not going to bring your light squared bishop out? Because it's a wasted move, and it allows me to do this beautiful uh, idea. I'll show you. <laughs> like about five, six, seven moves deep. I go bishop takes, check, king takes. And then knight h4, you're thinking, what in the world? You're saying, you lost sacrifice, and you're, you're just going to play slow? No, I'm building up. He goes, knight f6. I go f4. You're like, what? What's going on? I, I know what you're thinking. Don't worry. This is, this is all part of the plan, and I'm going to go an all-out attack. Watch and see. He goes, knight uh, king g8. He's trying to get his king to safety. Too late. e5. Bang. E5 attacks the knight, also allows me to castle, and I can put tons and tons of pressure on him. Watch. He goes, knight, D5, he doesn't know what to do, and I'm like, it's time to open him up and destroy. So I go, I go castle, I'm safe, his king's not safe, his pieces are not developed, now it's time to take advantage and destroy. He goes, uh, E6, that was a mistake, should have played something like maybe... Uh, brought his queen out, maybe something, something better than that, you know. But that I guess, <clears throat> looking at the position, that's probably the best move because I think he wants what he wants to do is play bishop e seven, uh, e seven, attack my knight. And that doesn't work out. He goes down fast and hard. I'll show you. I go queen g four, taking a very strong position in the opening. I could bring my knight to, I mean, yeah, my knight to g six. Attacking his rook, getting ready to open him up. Go f5. The the sky's the limits right now, and I'm going for it all. He he goes bishop e7. You're like, oh no, what's going on? He's attacking my knight. Yeah, but he left the back door open, which is knight to g6. Attacking his rook, his bishop, his queen. Getting my rook, I can do a rook lift to e6, e3. Sorry, f3. Sliding over to h3. Attack the knight. All's open, and I can even play d3, knight c3, you know, all different types of positions to get my pieces involved. He, it's, it's downward spiral for him right now. He goes c4, I'm like, forget that. Bang, f5. Now my plan is he made a mistake. He left the back door open, like I said. I'm going to play, uh, if he takes, uh, um, d ta I'm sorry, e takes f5, I'm going to take the c4 pawn, pinning his knight, and he doesn't have anybody to stop it. There's no queen, there's, there's nothing. And even if he plays, you're thinking, what about knight, knight to b4? No, knight b4 doesn't work. It fails to uh, a3. So he plays, I take, he goes, he takes the pawn, mistake, very bad mistake, check. Then uh, he has to move his king. He moves his king to f7. That was a mistake. I play bang. I play. I took his uh, rook. And the reason I did that was you're wondering why didn't I take it sooner. 
the, it's a whole, my whole plan was to keep his uh, night pin, and I have a rook. If you notice, everything is operation go for an attack, all out attack. If you, if you sacrifice a piece, don't hold back. All out attack. Don't hold back. No mercy. He goes queen to uh, b6. You're thinking, oh no, he's going to make my king move. He's going to get some counterplay. Ain't going to happen. Ain't going to do it. I go d4, and bang, his threat is all gone. There's nothing left. Let's say he goes. You're thinking, what about d6? D6 doesn't, d6 doesn't work. It falls to queen takes h. Um, that I could take his knight. Get Then I could play rook takes f5. All's operation go. I can even I can bring my rook over to e you know e one. There's tons and tons of options. He's all cramped. He's going down. He goes queen f six. That was a blunder. Bad move. Bad bad move. Because if you notice, he lined up right on my rook. You don't want to do that. I go bang. Rook takes. Now all the pieces are in the party. I have two more to go, and I'm gonna be right there. So watch and see how I destroy. He goes there. I, I play queen takes. You're thinking, why trade your queen when you're... The reason is, I see that once he takes, takes. And if he tries to take my knight, I take... My rook takes e7. D7. Yeah, e7. Sorry about that. I get really excited with this. And uh, I'm up a rook and uh, a piece. And it's just so beautiful. I'll show you how, how he goes down. Okay, he goes bishop to g4. You're thinking, what do you do? He, he has you. No, watch and see. You're thinking, he's either going to take the rook or the knight. Which one do you save? And I go, I take, because you, if you're ahead in material, you want to trade down. But if you want to go for a huge attack and you know your attack's working, don't trade down. Go for an all-out assault. He takes, then I play knight c3. You're thinking, what in the world? You're, you're giving away your knight? No. Watch and see. He takes a knight. It's forced. I play f, a to f, a1 to f1. The reason I do that is I'm getting ready to play uh, f8, and I can uh, pin his bishop. I can bring my knight in. His structure's all wrecked, and I want to show you how, how he goes down in flames. Okay. He goes h4. I, I pin his uh, bishop. He goes a6. Um, that's a really hard uh, thing. I was thinking to myself, why doesn't he play uh, rather than a6, b6? They're thinking, why b6? The reason b6 is that he can play bishop to b7. Yes, he would lose his uh, uh, rook, but that's kind of the only way to get some counterplay. But he's lost anyways. It's very honorable. He plays to the very end. So I'll show you how, how it continues. He goes knight e4. I go sorry. I go knight e4. Sorry about that. I'm getting ready to either take at g5 or go d d6, uh, winning his bishop. He goes king to uh, h6 because he doesn't want the attack to happen. I go bang. I'm now attacking his knight, his bishop. He goes. Um, <coughs> excuse me. He goes b5, trying to get some counterplay. I take. He, he goes um, not, rook to a7. You're wondering, why rook a7? You're thinking, he's, ho he's hanging a piece. Yes, but it's that really that's the only move that he can really do. Because if he doesn't do rook to a7, I know you're thinking, why is he talking about rook to a7 even though the piece is hanging? If he doesn't, I could play knight to e7. That, that uh, blocks the um, g6 spot. And then I could play checkmate with h, uh, h8. I know you saw that, so that's the reason he played that. And so I took I took the piece with that, with my knight. And so with that, when he sees that I'm two rooks, a knight, I'm uh, I'm even up. Let's see, uh, yeah, I'm even up a pawn. So two ro I have two rooks and a knight, and I'm up a pawn. He sees that the game's gonna just be over, and it's just gonna you know he's going down in flames. So he resigned. It's an honorable thing to do. And uh, I respect my opponent as a player. Um, he made some uh, bad moves because, um, yeah, he he put his queen on the same spot, you know, same file as my rook. He moved a couple pieces twice. He didn't uh, open up his position. 
He moved his king not to a safe spot into a cramped spot. I know you saw that. And he uh, let he let me um, dictate the the whole play of the game. He he didn't have any attack. He let me go, and he saw that I was winning, and so he kind of went into a downward spiral. And that that's one thing that um, we you guys have to work on. Don't if you, even if you're um, you know kind of losing a little bit, try to pull out a draw. Just do your best. Okay, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the game uh, of me, Bags as white, and my opponent, Cyber, as black. Um, I hope it teaches you never give up, always go for an attack, and do your best. As always, God bless, and I'll see you next time on Chess Cruncher.